Hello friends, welcome to Technique. Today I am going to <coughs> demonstrate to, uh, the another setting of this scanner. This is Zebra's LI4278. This is also known as Symbol LI4278. Even uh, Motorola once was uh, producing uh, with its own name, its own brand name called M Motorola LI4278. So uh, I am going to uh, talk about the setting and how you can set uh, it uh, in a different manners I mean whenever you scan the data it goes in row wise manner in tab from one tab to another tab to third to four to five like that so <coughs> I'll be telling you how it is going to be uh, done and uh, before going ahead I would request you people to please please subscribe to my channel so that I keep uh, getting motivated by those kind of subscription and make such kind of videos in the future course so please please subscribe to my channel now let's come to the point uh, to enable your barcode scanner ally 4278 or any other normal uh, that comes in uh, with most of the uh, zebras uh, scanners wireless scanners particularly uh, these kind of settings are common very common which you can uh, get, uh, understand from here and you can use with other scanners of yours so to get into that kind of mode I mean to <coughs> print the barcode sequentially I mean tab wise from one row to uh, one <coughs> column to another column in row manner uh, that is very simple thing but before going ahead I would request you to please 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 open the product guide the product guide which you received along with the product uh, along with the product of yours so this is the product guide which you might have received along with your scanner this is li4278 linear major quick start guide so this is the quick start guide which you have to uh, take if you are not having there with you anymore don't worry i can uh, try my best to put uh, it in the description link so that you can uh, click and get the uh, i mean uh, the pdf version of it and can scan, scan from there to make whatever you want to do now come to the point so this is the scanner at present it is at default last setting uh, I have the uh, this is a warranty card with the barcode scanner which I'll be using as a demo label barcode label so I'm going to scan this one now it is it is coming in sequence wise I mean from uh, top to bottom I mean it is changing the line on every scan you can see there now if what if you have to you have to uh, print this uh, next uh, data in the next tab like here like here and so on then how you are going to do there is uh, another option in the excel itself but if your uh, system is not supported to the excel format then you would be in trouble so i'll be telling you how it is going to be done and uh, for that you have to use this user guide okay so i'll be opening a page <coughs> which is called uh, default the factory default setting <coughs> barcode scanner it is a very uh, different kind of uh, user guide yeah it is very home and there are many poles in this user guide here you can see this is set defaults here you can see this is the barcode for the set defaults this you have to scan at first this kind of beep you will hear and after that you have to open on the reverse page of it i guess oh, oh this says here yeah you have to open this page which is which is heading as add and enter key and then here is add a tab if you can see add a tab key add a tab key so there are five markers in this one to <coughs> to do enter i mean to get into the new line i have already explained as how you can get into the new line how you can uh, start scanning the barcodes in uh, uh, from every scan it will get into the new line but uh, what if you have to uh, get into the new tab new cell uh, adjacent cell then uh, today I'm going to explain that one so uh, initially we scanned the default barcode scanner now to scan the barcodes to get the uh, data 
in this uh, row wise manner in the tab manner I have to do this operation I have to use these three scanners again I'll be scanning sequentially as mentioned one two three this is three scans I did and at the same time I have to scan these five barcodes of the add attack key sequentially one two three four and here is the last one five so this is the setting beep now I will be scanning the barcode the same barcode I am using it is very simple for me to handle so I'm going to scan and you will be seeing this remove at the same look <coughs> It is getting printed on different cells. If you can see the back screen, I'll, I'll re, you can see, I guess, where it is. You can see how the tab is formed. You can see these all the data are here. So this is scanned. I'll be making another focus with you here so that you can see it clearly. I'm scanning again, putting this scanner. Now see, it is printing in another tab. So this will keep moving to the next pages of the Excel sheet. Now you can see. So this is all how you can do it. And if you want to return back to the enter, I mean to the new line sequentially, you want to go from top to bottom like this one. Then I have already explained how you are you have to do. Uh, in the previous video it is going to be the same one using the same default setting and after that you have to scan the first enter the uh, first three uh, enter uh, key barcodes and after that you can use that one so here it's all and uh, again i am requesting you people to please subscribe to my channel and uh, if you have any kind of queries please write to us in the comment box i'll try to get the solution as soon as possible to you thank you very much thanks for watching